problems. Are you the type of person that avoids your problems? I get it. A lot of times in life, we're just emotionally drained, dealing with what I would call avoidable problems, or in other words, drama. Have you ever been in this season of life? I've been there. As a leader, I often am tasked with leading change. And go figure, <laughs> people don't always like change. And I remember a season where I was leading in change and there was a lot of drama, a lot of misinformation, a lot of energy coming at me emotionally. And I was emotionally drained in that moment to the point where I was avoiding dealing with the unavoidable problems that we all have to deal with in life. You know, there's a strategy that you can use to limit the impact of drama and what I would call drama llamas, those people that kind of have an addiction to drama. There's boundaries that you can put around them that will help you navigate life and protect your emotional energy. Now, when I use the word boundary, you need to understand that drama llamas are allergic to boundaries. See, to boundaries to drama llamas are like garlic and daylight to vampires. I mean, I like garlic, I love the daylight, but I'm not a vampire. If I was, I probably would hate it and get angry at it. What you'll notice in life is healthy people actually appreciate that you have healthy boundaries. They love that you have boundaries and they have boundaries of their own. Often drama llamas are allergic to it because this limits their impact in your life. But if you're gonna protect your emotional energy, you need to limit the impact of avoidable problems or drama in your life. So a couple strategies in scripture you'll find. Jesus practiced this in the New Testament with the religious leaders and some political leaders. You can see it in characters in the Bible. You need to set drama llama boundaries. And those boundaries could include something as simple as silence. It's not taking the bait every time the drama llama comes at you. Not, not participating in dialogue and debate that just keeps moving in circles but goes nowhere. At some point in time, you need to change the narrative. You need to change the approach. Because drama llamas sometimes try to wear us down and it can be a way to control us. Uh, they try to wear us down sometimes because maybe they're jealous of where you're going, what your ambition in life is. And you need to protect your emotional energy to be able to accomplish what it is you should be doing with your life. So silence, or I like to call it creating a short, uh, factual sentence. In other words, when I was leading change and, and people were coming at me, everybody has an opinion. Everyone has a different perspective. But to come up with a short sentence, this is why we're changing this and this is how we're going to do it. Done. It's a one that you can repeat often that is factual. In relationships, we need these short but factual statements. Uh, sometimes with the drama llamas in our life, we need to be able to say, hey, we've talked about this many times before. I'm not gonna talk about this anymore because it doesn't seem to mo move anywhere. Or every time we talk about this, I, I continue to be the problem and there's no solution on the other side of this. So we're gonna stop talking about this. And it's a short but factual statement that helps you move beyond that. Then the other thing sometimes that comes at you is you'll notice that if drama llamas can't control you, they'll try to control the information about you with misinformation. And you really have to avoid the temptation of taking on the drama llamas in that realm. Trust that people will be able to discern what is true, what is right, and keep moving forward. I always say this, high road living is not always fun living, but high road living is the type of living that leads to greater peace. Hey, just say no to the drama in your life. Say, this llama doesn't want your drama. <laughs>